Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I've been working so hard in doing my research to try to find the best hypoallergenic mascaras that are out there that's gonna be great for sensitive eyes. So let's get started. actually wasn't my idea. I had a subscriber that mentioned that she had very sensitive eyes to the point where she just stopped wearing makeup, eyeliners, mascaras altogether. And so that gave me the idea that, you know, there has to be, there has to be brands out there that's still gonna be good for sensitive eyes. My criteria is that each mascara should mention that it's hypoallergenic. It should be ophthalmology tested, which means it's okay and safe for sensitive eyes. Um, also, I'm looking for a more natural ingredients. I kind of pulled some of the mascaras from drugstore to high-end brands and you know put them to the test. We all know they're great for sensitive eyes, but do they perform like all the other great mascaras out there because sometimes when you start looking at more natural ingredients and more clean ingredients sometimes they don't perform as well and so um that's really the challenge there this is my third week each day i was just trying on one mascara after the other and just taking notes and comparing how volumizing they are how long they retain the curl is it lengthening does it flake does it clump all that stuff there isn't really one brand or one type of mascara that's going to be good for everyone it all depends on the person's eye shape how full or how thin their lashes are for me i have very downturned lashes when i try to curl them the shape of my eyes actually kind of protrudes forward to where it pushes the eyelashes down. And so it's really difficult to find one that really retains the curl. A lot of my mascaras are waterproof because that's the only way that it stays on for long periods of time. I didn't necessarily go on a hunt for like waterproof mascaras. You know, that wasn't part of my criteria because actually having a waterproof mascara on a daily basis is really not good for your eyelashes anyway. Let's start with Tarte. This is the Tarte Big Ego Mascara. Can you guys see that? The mini size was around $12. I just learned that really Tarte is a great brand. They have a lot of all natural, clean, vegan formulas um, in all their lines of makeup. So I want to explore Tarte as a brand more. This uh, Big Ego Mascara is vegan ophthalmology tested safe for contact lens wearers and it's good for up to 16 hour wear it's plant derived it has vitamins b5 and lots of antioxidants so wow this has some really good for you ingredients for your eyelashes um but is it volumizing not really after three coats it kind of starts volumizing my eyelashes but it's still not my favorite i would give this three and a half stars out of five in the volumizing category now does it lengthen no i wish it did on my notes it says it kind of lengthens after three coats and you have one shot with me if i have that kind of time to put on my makeup and so you have to perform and Tarte just did not perform in that category the curling wasn't that great it's three out of five stars is it smudge proof yes it did not smudge at all all day it is 16 hour wear so that's probably why but um, I appreciated that it didn't smudge. This is what it looks like. This is what the wand looks like. It has that hourglass shape. It, it has the same shape as the Tarte Better Than Sex Mascara, but um, it's not as volumizing. It's not as curling. It's not as lengthening. It's not my favorite, but you know, my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. However, this is kind of like the dupe for the Better Than Sex Mascara. I just haven't found one that is as good as this one. So I'm going to hang on to this for as long as I can until I find the next best thing. Um, 
but yeah it doesn't irritate me though so that's a good thing the only positive that i love about this is that it flares your eyelashes and coats them nice and evenly it just separates all of your lashes nicely and so that's what i love about this wand i just wish that it was more volumizing and more lengthening so the next mascara that i tried is by l'oreal i mean l'oreal makes one of my most favorite mascaras this is the double extend mascara and it's actually a tubing mascara it's called a tubing mascara because the product wraps around every single eyelash and then it kind of forms like tubes so the advantage of a tubing mascara is that it's, there's no smudging and actually this is my very first time trying any type of tubing mascara one of the greatest tubing mascaras that is pretty common and popular right now is by thrive cosmetics and it's 24 dollars. and so i was hoping that l'oreal would perform and really be a dupe to this really expensive uh, mascara by thrive cosmetics but it did not perform to my satisfaction it was just meh for me um, so let me just tell you more about the mascara. It has a primer to it and then it has the other side which is where the actual mascara is and it looks like this and I actually like the shape of the mascara. So the top coat helps with strengthening and nourishing the eyelashes so kind of just getting it primed and ready for the tubing mascara. Um, is it volumizing it's three out of five stars for me the trick with these is that you have to be fast because you can only put maybe a maximum two coats and once it hardens it sets and the tubes are formed around your lashes you really can't manipulate it anymore you really can't add more layers to make it more volumizing it's good at lengthening it was pretty lengthening it gives you that kind of spidery looking eyelashes the curl was okay of course it was smudge proof so i give that five out of five stars did it flake on me oh yes flaking to me and smudging are two different things it did flake and i gave it a three out of five stars because i continually feel like there's something in my eyes so I don't know if it's just little droplets of the tubing mascara that has hardened and they're just falling apart and going into my eyes. It just kept irritating my eyes, which defeats the purpose of this whole video, right? I wish it performed much better, you know, because I'm always, always looking for that perfect drugstore, cheaper alternative when it comes to makeup and that wasn't it the next mascara that i tested is by clinique and this is the high impact extreme volume mascara so this is what it looks like very nice sleek looking tube and this is actually 22 dollars at ulta this is allergy tested ophthalmology tested and safe for sensitive eyes safe for contact wearers according to this and actually clinique had a couple of mascaras i think there were three that i found that were hypoallergenic ophthalmology tested all that stuff that i'm looking for that's going to be great for sensitive eyes i picked the more expensive one let me show you the wand i selected this for the reason that it was called high impact extreme volume mascara so i was really hoping for some extreme volumizing i don't have a lot of lashes and so it needs a lot of help when it comes to volumizing for volumizing i give it three out of five stars for lengthening it was pretty good it was pretty good but there is something that's even better and so i'll mention that here the curl is okay and i want to give it like three and a half out of five stars really because the day i wore this it was actually raining and it had the nicest curl the perfect curl and it held its curl for a couple of hours and then when it got rained on it is so funny because when i looked at my Myself in the mirror imagine all these lashes you know standing up straight like this and when I looked at my eyes after you know the rain it was all like this <laughs> 
and it was just like oh. I've never seen my eyelashes look that way before the wand isn't my favorite I feel like this type of wand keeps poking me in the eye during application so it's not my favorite I have to say this is definitely smudge proof so if you're looking for something that stays put for a long time this is it because it did not bleed at all all during the rain what i like about it it doesn't make your eyelashes feel like chunky or crispy it's still very feathery and just hair like if you know what i mean and so i think that's why it just didn't retain retain the curl as much when it rained also there's kind of like a learning curve with this mascara because when i first tried it it just it wasn't volumizing it wasn't lengthening at all and then i tried to be a little bit more patient with it and i let it dry a little bit in between coats and when you do that, that's when the volumizing and extreme lengthening really happens. Um, it's just a little bit harder to build up because you have to give it that slight dry time. You don't want to wait too long. So it's a little, I want to say time consuming, probably not friendly for busy moms like myself. I don't hate this mascara, but I've had better mascara. Next brand that I tested was from Almay and I actually got this at Ulta and this is called the multi-benefit mascara this is not waterproof and it's marked and labeled as hypoallergenic ophthalmology tested and it's made from pure ingredients this is nine dollars at Ulta I also like this formula and if I were to match it up with Clinique I would say they're kind of like a tie maybe this one is a step higher than Clinique by a little bit um, in the volumizing category I would say it's around three and a half to four out of five stars it only gets four stars after three coats it's funny because a lot of these mascaras really perform after three coats and so you have to be more patient i think um it's not like when i use my l'oreal lash paradise i mean at the first coat i see intense dramatic eyelashes and so um you know this just can't be beat right now this one is really good at lengthening it's almost almost five out of five it's hard for me to really give like a perfect score because my perfect score might not be the perfect score for someone i want to give it that wiggle room but in my opinion it's definitely between four a high four or five out of five stars so it's definitely very 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 lengthening i love it for that it is a wetter formula and now let me show you the brush see look at that so if you can see there's that excess mascara at the base of the wand and also at the very tip so i always have to like wipe it the curl it holds up the curl really well i give it five out of five stars is it smudge proof yes it's five out of five but oh my gosh i said that it was very flaky it's two and a half out of five stars so there was some intense fallout but i want to give it the benefit of a doubt too because well, the last two times it had some intense fallout but today i'm using alme and i've had this mascara on for a good three hours and i haven't had any fallout yep no no fallout at all it doesn't really ruin my makeup because it's like dry you know and it didn't smudge mind you so i'm not really sure where that fallout is coming from in the lengthening and volumizing and curling category this is awesome definitely you need to allow some drying time between coats make sure you curl it after it dries that way it kind of lifts and sets in that position where the eyelashes are standing up perfectly i saved the best for last this mascara is from pixie this is actually $16 at Ulta. It's actually pretty up there in price as far as a drugstore brand. You can also find Pixie products from Target. When I saw that they had a mascara that was paraben-free, cruelty-free, alcohol-free, all natural, 
smudge proof fragrance free mascara i knew i had to try this it doesn't mention that it is ophthalmology tested or safe for sensitive eyes but one of my criteria was that it had to be made with natural ingredients this is the pixie large lash mascara let's take a look at the wand it has a nice wand here's the thing with pixie it wasn't as volumizing as i had hoped but everything else just looked really good it gives you kind of more of like a spidery lash effect the maximum coats that you could get out of this is two coats because it can get a little clumpy when it comes to volumizing it's more like three and a half out of five stars because it is a smudge proof formula it does not budge so it does not flake five out of five stars it does not smudge five out of five stars and it curls and lengthens really well i am amazed at how lengthening this is it retains the curl all day it makes my lashes look so long and i just don't need falsies the only drawback is that it's not as volumizing so if you like kind of those spidery lashes instead of kind of like the full voluminous voluminous lashes then this is for you definitely i don't mind it because i love the lengthening it makes you look like you have lashes all the way up to here <laughs> if you know what i mean this is a great mascara guys considering that it is alcohol free and all natural i just want to do some honorable mentions to some mascaras that i didn't include in the testing because you know i don't have all the budget for it honestly and opening five tubes of mascara is just really my limit because they do go bad but yeah i did my best the ten dollar physician's formula organic wear fake out mascara you might want to try that if none of these five mascaras are gonna work for you the tartar teast mascara who knew this has been one of my favorite, favorite mascaras. And I didn't know that it was a hypoallergenic mascara. All the good stuff that came along with the Big Ego mascara is also in this tube of mascara. This mascara often goes on sale for half price. You know, it's pretty much drugstore price if you can get it on sale. And the last thing is the Thrive Cosmetics one. I personally have never tried Thrive Cosmetics but I have heard great things. And the reason why Thrive didn't make it into my research was because it just keeps getting sold out. I just hate paying for shipping. Definitely you can get Thrive from their online website. And the name of the mascara is um, Thrive Liquid Lash Extension Mascara. It goes for $24, so it's a pretty pricey mascara. Now, if I were to rank all these mascaras, my top three would definitely be Pixie, Clinique, and Alme. Pixie would be my number one pick. It did give me that spidery, really extra long lashes. I mean, I feel like if I kept putting coats, it might lead up to all the way here. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I wore this so much more than all the other mascaras here that I've mentioned today. Definitely a great, great mascara. Clinique and Alme are kind of a toss-up. So depending on your budget, you could try one or the other or depending on how you like your wands to be shaped because there are some preferences when it comes to mascara wands and how it affects the shape of your eyes, your eye shape, and your application process. And so hopefully you guys find one that's going to be your favorite. So my camera cut off on me. <laughs> um, but... This is all of the mascaras that I found that are great for sensitive eyes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, by the time you see this video, I do have a giveaway going on on my channel. It is a birthday giveaway. So please check it out. Enter the giveaway if you're interested. I have some really great items that I want to share with you all, especially to my loyal subscribers. So um, if you're new here, join the family. There's always something to learn here 
on my channel and yeah that is it guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like subscribe to this channel if you haven't already i post videos once a week on skincare and beauty reviews and i hope to see you guys back in my corner soon bye